Do you know that too much happiness can make you unhappy? We all want to be happy, but too much can be unhealthy. That's why we should learn how to manage it. So there are four ways in how to manage our happiness. First, embrace your current happiness level. Be contented to what makes you happy. Either you're reading a book or listening to music or anything that makes you happy. Savor every moment in your life. We can write it in a diary to remember it every single time. Participate in activities that boost your overall well-being. It means you need to join activities that will help develop your character, that you'll be able to recognize the right happiness for you. And lastly, emotional balance. What is anger? So anger is an emotion characterized by antagonism towards someone or something you feel has deliberately done you wrong. So many things can trigger anger, including stress, family problems, and financial issues. So ways on how to manage anger. First is think before you speak. So in the heat of the moment, it's easy to say something you'll regret later. So take a few moments to collect your thoughts before you say anything. And allow others involved in the situation to do the same. So second is, don't hold a grudge. Forgiveness is a powerful tool. If you allow anger and other negative feelings to crowd out positive feelings, you might find yourself swallowed up by your own bitterness or sense of injustice. So third, use humor to release tension. Lightening up can help you diffuse tension. Use humor to help you face what's making you angry, though. So avoid sarcasm, though it can hurt feelings and make things worse. So simply smile whenever you feel anger. And note that anger doesn't have solution for things. It just spread hateness among people. Fear is an emotional reaction we feel in a situation that makes us feel unsafe or unsure. People tend to avoid situations or things that they fear. Fear is still there, it's always there, but the good thing is, each time you face your fear and you choose not to turn back away from it, the fear just in fact get a little bit smaller. We all feel sad sometimes. Sadness is a normal emotion that can make life more interesting. Sadness almost always accompanies loss. When we say goodbye to a loved ones, we usually feel sad. The sadness is even deeper if a close relationship has ended or a loved one has died. Sadness also helps us appreciate happiness. When our mood eventually changes from sadness towards happiness, the sense of a contrast adds to the enjoyment of the mood. So here's some ways to experience normal sadness in healthy ways and to allow this emotion to enrich your life. Number one, allow yourself to be sad. Denying such feelings may force them underground where they can do more damage with time. Cry if you feel like it. Notice if you feel relief after the tears stop. Number two, write in a journal. Listen to music, spend time with your friends and your family, and draw to express the emotion, sadness. Number three, think about the context of the sad feelings. Are they related to a loss or an unhappy event? Think about the feelings in a non-judging way and ride the wave of the experience. There are many situations that can cause us to have different emotions. But the most important is to not allow your emotion to overpower your intelligence. It means we should always take decisions with our mind and not the heart.